Hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Lolly. Today we're going to actually work on our August paper clips. I am behind again. I know. I'm sorry. Your fearless leader is behind. So the theme for August, and these themes are in our group on Facebook, but you can follow along on YouTube even though you're not on Facebook. And the theme was either books or book pages. So I have used book pages to create these really perky floral paper clips and I'm going to show you how. Okay, the first thing is I just ripped out a page from any old book and I am using a stamp, a very old stamp from my stash from Dots and this is E207 Blooming Buds. Stamped it on the book page and I'm just going to color it in using um, the Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. I'm opening my tins now. Uh, I'll give you a link down below also, not only to the Facebook group where all these challenges are, but also to my video showing my review of the Holbein pencils. So I'm just going to grab a pink here and lightly, using circular motions, color in this little flower here. It's so cute. Now I'm going to get in some really intense color here and instead of doing like a normal flower which is shaded uh, usually either the center is darker or the edges are darker I'm just doing it like it's a shadow down below I'm gonna blend that in just a little bit and just for a little extra oomph, I'm going to give a little bit of red down here to really make it pop. Now, let's look at the next flower. I'm going to use yellows. And with the same principle, I'm going to color down below. And again, give it some really intense orange down here. So I'm using about three colors per flower. And then for the leaves, I am going to go with these two. I haven't been telling you the colors. These two are 247 and 243. And you can probably see by uh, my book page, this is a very old book that I got from a thrift store. It's one of those old Reader's Digest books. And the pages are pretty well browned and yellowed. And it gives it an entirely different look than if you use brand new white pages. Now I do mount this on cardstock, but I wait until I have colored it first. And the reason is, the reason is I don't want it, I want to color right away. I don't want it to be all moist while I'm trying to color it. First thing is I need to glue that down to cardstock. I'm going to save myself some time here. I'm just cutting off this section here. I'm just cutting this off and I'm going to use a glue stick and glue this down. Now when you're using a glue stick, this one is not that new, so unfortunately that also means that it could leave chunks. So I always go through and make sure that there's no chunks on here, that it's rather smooth and flat. I didn't get my glue book out. And the reason I'm gluing the other side down as well over here is that I'm going to use a hole punch for the background. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is, I could have glued this closer to the end and conserved cardstock that wasn't very wise. I'm going to cut this out, but I'm going to leave a little bit of a border around there so you actually see the paper and the words. But you can do yours however you want. You can cut yours out right on the black line. And you can also let this dry a little better before you start cutting. 
and the hole punch, oops, glue sticks making that stick to me. The hole punch I'm going to use is the one and a half inch circle. But you know, you could just cut out, you could use any shape of punch or you could just cut this out by hand. You could trace something, you know, to give it a, um, a circle, you know, you could trace the, a lid. This does seem fairly dry, so I'm going to go ahead, use my paper scraps, and color this in. So what I want to do is to color with this color, which is the 228. I'm just giving it a very light coat here. Another reason you don't want to have uh, chunks of glue stick underneath is it would really show through this when you're coloring, it would leave big chunks. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to use this turquoise and this one is 247 and I'm hitting it just based on the side of the core here. Just, it's kind of like distressing, but with a color pencil. Okay, and now I'm going to just kind of blend in a little bit. These are really super fast paper clips. And so if you needed to make paper clips in bulk, but that also looked very, um, very pretty and striking, this is a nice thing to do. Okay, I'm going to use a foam square to the back. Put that down, and these are paperclip blanks. They're in my shop, and I use Beacon Power Tack. I don't use hot glue because it is not permanent, and although it gives you a nice, fast results at home, if you package this up and try to mail it to somebody, it will come apart in the mail. And the last thing I need is Nubo Drops. Let's go really bright here. I have one of these, which is, let's see, this is the Aroma Drops, and this is the Strawberry Tart, and I'm going to give a nice red dot for the center there. For this one, I'm going to go with Caribbean Ocean. It's one of my favorite colors of theirs. You can see how quick that was. Now, if you're interested in joining the group, know that we we make sure that you've been on Facebook for at least a year before letting you in the group and there's reasons for that and then we also give you two questions to answer and those questions are a requirement to join the group there you have it folks aren't those just really perky and so easy to make and so Enjoy. I hope that inspires you today to get crafting and making your paper clips. Thank you for watching, everyone.